Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. If you are looking to supercharge your efficiency and make the most of your time, you've come to the right place. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I do my monthly planning in my HP Classic Size Franken Planner. First of all, I take out my pre-printed monthly and weekly insert. I have made this insert undated so that it's easier for me to just print it out and fill it in with dates any time of the year. If you are interested to have the inserts, it's available for you for free at the link in the description box below. These are only available in the HP Classic size by the way. Next, I add my simple monthly budget inserts which I have also made as well. It's not a fancy insert, it's just a simple system that works for my family. For this month, I'm trying something new so I'm adding the cloth and paper October month inserts to fill in my content creation work in here later. I do my monthly planning about a week before I enter new month so that the transition does not disturb my workflow. So I don't take out the previous month's inserts for now, I just leave them there until the month ends. I use my Happy Planner stickers and some washi tapes to decorate the front page of my monthly inserts. And those six boxes are meant for my monthly goals which I keep track of and some motivational stickers. So I write down my monthly goals for October and then I check my previous month to-dos and transfer the tasks that I have not completed in the month of September to the month of October. I also take a look at my digital calendar to trigger more to-dos for the month. Having a trigger list also helps me to think about other, other tasks that needs to be done in next month. I use the color dot pens to mark the tasks so that when I'm done with the task, I can just tick off. The vibrant colour also makes the page more attractive looking. I write the dates in the monthly inserts and then fill in the appointments for the month of October, which I pretty much write down the same thing that is in my digital planner as well. The reason why I also write in the Franco Planner is because there are days where I don't want to use the digital planner because of a few reasons such as eye strain or avoiding distraction. There are many times I've deviated my attention for something else every time I pick up my iPad. So having a physical planner really helps me to avoid the, dis the distraction and also gentle to my eyes. Next, I color code the appointments to differentiate between personal, family and professional appointments. I add more stickers to my calendar to make the monthly calendar more attractive and some of the stickers are visual representative of the actual work that I need to do, such as filming for my YouTube channel. Next, I update the birthdays of family and friends because there are days where I've actually forgotten to wish when I did not write them down. I also add dates for the total weekly calendar which I use to pre-plan my day for the week. I try to stick to the weekly plan as much as I can and so far it has been so helpful in giving me a direction on how I would like to spend the week. Also, planning my week in a physical planner gives me a totally different vibe. It feels like I have made a commitment to follow through my plan. Since I have not entered the month of October yet, I don't write down my weekly schedule but it's ready for me to plan when I enter the month. 
Let me know if you are interested to know how I plan my weekly pages. I can do a weekly plan with me video in future. Next, I just add the month and the date for my budget inserts because I will only be filling them up when we enter the new month. I have a lot of Happy Planner stickers and washi tapes which I use for my planning. Maybe one day I will show you my collection. To be honest, I love my monthly planning process because it is so therapeutic for me and I just enjoy doing it. As you can see, I don't do much of a decoration, it's very minimal and functional. So that's it, I'm done. It took me about 45 minutes to do this. Thanks for tuning in today. If you have found value in today's video, please consider in hitting the like button. It's a small gesture, but it means the world to me and helps the channel to reach more people just like you who are striving for better productivity. And please don't forget to subscribe my channel and hit the notification bell to turbocharge your productivity journey with me. Until then, keep planning, keep achieving and keep striving for your dreams. I will catch you in the next video. Bye!